So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you can draw like a a, spiral, a spiraling tree, like it's twisting. Um, and I just wanted to use it as an example to show you, I guess, how you could render trees and how you could use the line of balance to kind of like convey that. So basically, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be combining the um, the line of balance, right? And uh, I'm going to combine that with a cylinder, like that. Okay. So basically, um, I'm going to have the spiral kind of wrap around the cylinder, and it will create that type of a um, spiraling effect. So the this cylinder is going to pretty much, you know, look something like, like, uh, like that. And um, the spiral is pretty much going to be like going around it, like that. And, um, <clears throat> but of course I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit, but this is basically the idea. See that? Then you'll have, you know, limbs coming out of it and whatnot. Right? So that's basically the, um, the idea behind it. <clears throat> So, you know, and I'm just going to kind of like make up some stuff as I go along so you get some idea of how I'm going to do it. So, um, I'll sketch it out maybe right here. It's going to be using um, these uh, sepia inks. It's actually the same microns, but they're actually um, like a nice sepia ink. So, this is actually the first one I'm going to do a tutorial using these. So, you see how it comes out. Alright, so I think that's that's basically it. And the rest I'm just going to start working in the ink and I guess just kind of like um, make up some stuff as I go along. So I'm going to use the uh, 0.5, uh, so this is size 1, this is the 051 and uh, 01. This one is the brush, I may not really use it as much, um, but it's still pretty cool to use if I want to create that tapering effect. Maybe I should. Um, play around with it.
Yeah, and of course I could um, keep going, but you get the idea. So essentially, I'm just building the same forms, you know, over and over. And this is actually a lot of fun. Um, just see how the forms kind of like build in front of your eyes. And, you know, I really just started from this basic uh, thing here. Just use the line of balance and a cylinder and um, kind of like, you know, made the spirals go around it. And it just evolved on its own because what I keep doing is, you know, it's almost like I, I have, uh, say, for example, I have um, this is a spiral, right? I have one big cylinder going around like that, right? And then what I do is just start making it irregular. So I basically start breaking this up into um, smaller cylinders, basically. So, for example, like with, I'll do it with this one. Like, first of all, I'm going to make it a little bit irregular. So I make have it do like that. See, so it's not going to be as predictable as I sketched it out. So it may be a little bit like, like that. And then I go in and I start breaking this up into smaller cylinders like so. See, this little smooth outline, I'll break it. Something like that. You see what I mean? And that's how it, it evolves. and becomes, you know, this, this thing that we see here. Like this smooth form, I'll just break that up. See, and this is starting to evolve into something else, just like that did. I may even put a little um, little knot here. And that's how it goes. So, you, you know, you just break up, but you start with a simple form, and then it just evolves into, um, you know, something bigger. And that's basically the idea. You just keep repeating the same form. So it's repetition with variation, basically.